Tonight, on Mysterious Mysteries, Strange Mysteries, we investigate Dr. Atkins, who he is, what he is today, the secrets of his lifespan, and where we suspect he haunts currently. They don't know that he's fucking Satan. We'll have to kill him. You know, this isn't cow blood at all. These goths and emos just coming out of the trees and I was just, I need to take a break. He's known to scream like a yeti. I'm scared. For a brief history on his 12 century long lifespan, we visit Dr. Joseph von Fritzl, the award-winning author of the best-selling biography entitled Sixth Edition Fundamentals of Database Systems. I wrote a book about Dr. Atkins, Sixth Edition Fundamentals of Database Systems. The introduction on page 631 gives a good summary of Dr. Atkins' life. Allow me to read you a passage. Dr. Atkins accomplished many things in his lifetime. The same year Dr. Atkins invented spam, he was born in 807 AD. He won the title of Lord of the Dance when he won a dance off with Jesus. Tomorrow shall be my dancing day, not Jesus's. And Sidney Carter's were two songs written in his honor. In the 19th century, Dr. Atkins convinced people in the 17th century that bread was poison. By poisoning their bread, this belief continued until the late 18th century. Queen Marie Antoinette ordered everyone to eat cake. Contrary to popular belief, they did, and it was good. Dr. Atkins then destroyed Thomas Edison's time machine and burnt all the papers. In 1972, Dr. Atkins invented the Atkins diet. Then he disappeared. Some experts speculated that he had finally died that was impossible. His diet, beef, had made him immortal. In 2007, he appeared in a mysterious movie. Paco! In 2007, Dr. Atkins stole Paco's ability to speak Spanish. Paco was a known devil worshipper, and it's suspected that one of her rituals attracted Dr. Atkins. Her friends then set out on a quest to save her by going ghost hunting for the first time in their lives at her home in Emily Palmieri's garage. I'm getting a lot of strange reading. Oh, really? Yes. Dr. Atkins then possessed one of the investigators and transformed Paco and the other investigator into his meaty undead honkies. Good evening, I am Dr. A mysterious hero arrived and freed the investigators and Paco from Dr. Atkins' grasp. Dr. Atkins then possessed the mysterious hero and made him escape, never to be seen again. Until now. Recently, at the University of Montana, students have reported sightings of Dr. Atkins. Is he a ghost? A yeti? A disembodied pectoral inflammation? Or simply a very old man? Let's join our translator, Tim Irwin, to find out what the students have to say. Can you please tell us what happened? Have you ever smelled hatred in the air? Well, it was about 2.38 p.m. I was heading home for my water polo tournament and I started smelling this weird, putrid, meaty type smell. But then I saw something shiny and I was distracted, so that was it. I was walking home from the store and, you know, what were we talking about again? Right. Um, well, I had jerky, and I saw like these shadows were mo moving like towards me. So I do what I normally do when I'm uncomfortable, and I started singing, and Taylor Swift was the first thing that came to mind. And then I went home, and nothing happened. I distinctly remember it was 2.38 at night, I think, that I went out to go get some beef jerky for my fish, because I don't know why he eats it like that, but he does. And there was like this person just following me, and I was just like, Okay, weirdo, leave me alone. And then it started smelling super f awful. And then there, then there was these, these goths and emos just coming out of the trees. And I was just, I need to take a break. This fish may be satanic. We'll have to kill him.
Hello, I'm Tim Irwin, and today we're looking for the satanic dietitian known as Dr. Adkins. We are here at his last known location to try and find this crazy psychopath. I had to go to meteorology school for 25 years to come up with the top methods to try to catch this beast. First, we have superior brand original flavor beef jerky to try to lure him in. We also got this tool called an electro meat field detector. It catches any scent. It said whenever his presence is near, the putrid smell of rotting meat is in the air. And we also have a standard sound recorder to catch any wild screams that he may release. Let's go see what we can get. Tread lightly. He's a dangerous part. I'm setting the bait. I'm gonna leave the sound recorder. See if we catch any noises, yeah? Let's go towards the tree. I'm gonna start measuring IMF field now. Oh God. Oh. I've got a whiff of them. Now we wait. Wait for that bastard to come out now. Oh God, I must have fallen asleep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He must be right on top of us. Seems he must be gone by now. Let's check to see if anything's on the sound recorder, huh? Oh, damn, gosh. Ugh. It is now 2.38 p.m. at night. This is said to be the prime time to catch Dr. Adkins. Let's see if I looks good today, huh? Oh, I can get something. I can get something. Look, look, there he is. There he is. Come on. Let's get him. God, look at the speed on that thing. Wow. God, it's gone like a flash. We tried to catch him. He's just too fast. The good news is he took the bait. That means the bag's got to be around here somewhere. Hopefully there's some remnants left, some evidence. We'll see what we can find, yeah? Here's the bag. Oh my. He got to it all right. See that? That's cow blood. That's what he leaves behind. There's so much in his system, he just vomits it out every time he eats a meal, you know? Just to be safe, we're gonna smell it just to see if it is him, you know? Oh God, it's putrid. It's absolutely putrid. Oh, good Lord, you don't wanna smell this. You don't want to. Great evidence though, great evidence. I'm here with Tim Irwin in our state-of-the-art lab to test the evidence that he found at the scene. Can you please explain? Yes, Margaret. This is our bag of beef jerky that we laid out for Dr. Adkins to take, and he did take the bait, and you can see it's filled with remnants of cow blood. We're just gonna test it. We're gonna see what it's like. And I understand that the smell is supposed to be. Oh! Yes. Oh God! Try to breathe out your mouth. Yes. <sighs> now. <laughs> you know, this isn't cow blood at all. This is completely wrong. The texture is completely off. Well, this what? is something different. Very interesting. I haven't encountered blood like this in years. Upon further reviewing the blood, we found it was not what we originally expected it to be, but that of a missing Honduras goth boy who had eaten so much beef jerky that Dr. Atkins had confused him with a ritual offering. Tim found no further evidence of Dr. Atkins' presence that night. Upon further reviewing the tape recorder with special meat detecting equipment, he found an unexplained voice amidst the contamination from the group of goth students. What you just heard was meat entering the sound waves, alerting us that Dr. Atkins was near. 
Though we failed to capture this menace to society, we will continue to develop better and more effective ways to rid the Earth of this horrible person. This has been Mysterious Mysteries of Strange Mysteries. Good night.